People have talked about putting cabbage leaves on their mm -hmm. breasts. I don't know. Sounds stinky to me. <laughs> My name is Lene. I'm a certified breastfeeding specialist. Hi, I'm Angela Lang. I'm a clinical nurse specialist and an IBCLC. And today we're playing What's Wrong With This Picture, where something may be wrong with this photo, or something might not be wrong with the photo. And today's edition is pain in breastfeeding. So let's take a look at this photo. Ah, oh. hmm. Angela, what's what's wrong with this photo? Um, I can feel that photo <laughs> I myself. I can feel it too. Yeah, that is definitely not a good latch, and I would expect that that mom has really sore nipples, might even be cracked or bleeding. So the latch here is almost like pinched. The lips are not flanged, and that's not even going to remove much milk at all. And that's going to cause a lot of discomfort for mom. Yeah, it's really true. A lot of times, moms will put up with any kind of latch just because they want to feed their yes. babies. But it helps when you tell them. That the baby can't get milk out that way. So this mom needs to relatch the baby yes. and maybe have a wider mm -hmm. mouth latch so that it gets deeper on the nipple Definitely. and it's a little bit more comfortable. So we recommend here to reach out to a lactation consultant to help better that latch. Absolutely. So Lene, we have a picture here. What do you think? Is this a good picture? Is there anything wrong with this photo? I would say there's nothing wrong with this photo. It looks like this baby's latched really well. Yes, we really like this latch, and you can tell we're both smiling because we're not worried about the latch in this <laughs> one. But um, some things about a good latch. Um, one thing is the baby's mouth will be really wide open. And then their chin and their cheeks will be touching the breast. It's really important for the cheeks to actually be touching the breast. And a lot of times moms think the baby's too close yeah. then, but that's really what's going to give the mom the comfort so you really want to see the cheek right against the breast and also your baby as long as you're not pushing your baby's head into the breast the baby's smart enough to move oh, yeah. so he will breathe this is a good latch here good latch so Lene, we have a crying baby here yeah is there anything wrong with this picture i feel like that makes this picture inherently wrong no <laughs> one wants to see a crying baby but it looks like the mom's in some pain or maybe some engorgement Engorgement can be a normal part of breastfeeding. Usually happens on the third or fourth day when the milk transitions and you have a big full milk supply. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is sometimes the baby can't latch yes. then, so the breast will get like really hard. I remember my breast looking like a football. It was like <laughs> shiny and hard. It, it hurt a lot. And I feel like I wasn't properly prepared for how painful that would be. And then the baby who was breastfeeding really well before that couldn't latch on. In order to relieve that, we recommend pumping. You could do breast massage. There's the organic breast massage oil we offer. Um, and that should help kind of move things along. Another thing you could do is something called reverse pressure softening. So part of what's happening in gorgeous is that there's a lot of milk there, but also the body's like, whoa, wait, what's this milk? I've never seen this before, and sends a whole bunch of inflammation in that area. So part of it's swelling as well as engorgement. So one of the things you wanna do is just push back on your nipple, around your nipple, and you're kind of pushing back some of that engorgement. That should loosen up the nipple a little bit. You can have engorgement later on in, you can. in breastfeeding mm -hmm. too. You definitely can. And sometimes if you leave that engorgement, it could lead to mastitis. And Don't want mastitis. Not fun. And there's other solutions for pain for breastfeeding. If your nipples just aren't used to it, it's the first, you know, week or so, you can use organic nipple balm um, or hydrogel pads. The hydrogel pads are really mm -hmm. nice because you can put them in the refrigerator and yes. then they're really cooling. It helps with some of the engorgement as well. People have talked about putting cabbage leaves on their mm -hmm. breasts. I don't know. It sounds stinky to me. <laughs> All right, so this next photo, oh, what do we have? There, we got a nipple shield. Oh. All right, now is there anything wrong with this photo? How's the latch? We have a nipple shield. Good question. I don't think there's anything wrong with this particular picture with the latch. You can see that the baby's mouth is really wide open. I would say maybe a little bit closer to the breast just to get on real deep. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things that you can do with the nipple shield is be on too much on the end because it's easy, right? The baby's just latched onto the harder piece of the teeth, but you still can't get milk out like that. So you got to be closer into the breast. So I would say maybe a little closer in, but otherwise it looks really good. It looks great. And you know, mom will use a nipple shield usually for discomfort but honestly you should be using a nipple shield when recommended by your lactation professional and that could help with the baby's latch which may have caused that discomfort in the first place totally true 
Angela and I have so many more tips, tricks, and advice for you, so comment below any questions you have and we'll be sure to answer them.